dudes, guys. Oh wait, you probably can't see me. Hold on one sec. Yo, what's up, guys? Wait, can't see me again. Hold on. All right, this is how low I'm going. Anyways, <clears throat> another one. I know I made a recent. I know I already made a video about me showing all the pop-up collections I have, but I'm going to do it again because why not? I'm getting new ones soon, so when I just show the ones I have and then <clears throat> in videos, you'll you'll see the new characters. All right, here's half the puppets. You can't see all of them because half of them are on the uh, corner or something. So we're gonna get to the first puppet right now. All right, for so for the first puppet, it's actually not really a puppet. It's just a doll. Like Joseph, he's a doll, dude. They got Woody up here. <clears throat> now, Woody's a good a good thing about my uh, <clears throat> my collection. I know he's not a puppet, but I mean, you could probably try sticking the rods in his arm. Something like that. Uh, he's the host of Squid Games. If you've seen any of the episodes, I do have a playlist somewhere. Uh, just go ahead and check them out. Pretty fun. Yeah, they're all right. He's, I think he was in like one of the Circus Gang episodes, but yeah, that's Woody. And let's move on to the next one. All right, so for the next puppet we have is the ballerina one, or as Anthony, my friend, and I like to call her, Angeline. <laughs> How's up, everybody? It's me, Angeline. Hi, Angeline. You got this. <laughs> now, the funny thing was, when my friend was here one day, he actually, like, I'm not saying it in a cast way, he actually, like, voiced her. It was pretty funny. You can check out my TikTok in the description. Pretty cool. I, I I got you know a lot of stuff. Yeah, <laughs> uh, next puppet, please. All right, next puppet we're doing it in some kind of cringy way. You probably just saw it there, but candy cane eggs. Yep, we got Raggedy Andy here. It's not Raggedy Ann. Let's see. Raggedy Andy. I know this is a backwards, but I don't really care. Got nice candy cane legs. Uh, it's, it's only one that you can only move your hand in. You can't move his mouth. And yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, next puppet, please. Alright, for our next puppet, we have... Is it not? God bless you. Uh, next what we have is just a regular uh, ladybug puppet. You know, they can uh, crawl around like that. Have like a little hat or something. I would just like do this or something. I don't know. I'm probably going to sell this on <clears throat> on Facebook marketing or something. It's like 15 bucks. I'll update it when it's sold. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, next puppet. Alright, for the next puppet we have... The basic shark puppet. Shark puppet. I'm a good book. If I see you, I'm gonna eat you like a book. Next puppet, please. And now for our next puppet, we have is another basic uh, shark puppet. <clears throat> I got a quick question: Do you like it when my hair is like this, or do you like it when it's like this way? I personally like it kind of this way because it just makes me look more sexier. I don't care about the language. Uh, yeah, next we got a blue shark puppet. I'm shark Alright. And, uh, next puppet, please. Alright, for our next puppet we have, we have the, uh, uh Aladdin Genie puppet. Uh, I actually bought it on Amazon. It was pretty it's pretty good, probably like $30. But, you know, I didn't zoom recently. Uh, actually, trying to not hit my light, but you can kind of see there. Just got the uh, <clears throat> stitch or something, because he was originally ripped. So, uh, I'm glad he's good. His entrance is kind of a bit, oh, okay, that's kind of weird. But his, just that, was just creepy. His eye was already messed up and and stuff, but it's okay. I still like him. Uh, next one. All right, for our next puppet, we got Kermit the Frog. I'm going to Kermit suicide. I'm going to Kermit suicide. I'm going to Kermit 
committed suicide. <laughs> it's honestly the best puppet I've ever gotten. I think it was like on Amazon for like 20 bucks or something. It's pretty cool. Uh, next one, please. Alright, for our next puppet, we actually have two I'm going to show. Well, you just saw one there. <laughs> so. <clears throat> so these two are both Animal and Gonzo from uh, The Muppet Show. Well, from Amazon's point of view. Uh, these two, fun fact, I actually almost canceled the order because I didn't know when it was going to get in my place. And when I checked the mail, these two were in the, in the mail. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I can make any one on each one of the nose. Throw them like that. His arms fly around there. <laughs> I'm thinking of getting another one, one that has legs and a mechanical eyebrow one. So, next puppets. Alright, now I'm warning people from 606 to. I'm not really sure when I'm going to end this part. But from 606, if you don't want to listen, if you don't want to see this one, skip until whenever the next one is so 606 is when this part started but for the next puppet we have craig the devil now craig the devil is one of my favorite ones mainly because he has the cape that you can cover your arm with so you you can kind of see my arm here but you can't see where it is I, i'm gonna repeat 606 so i can remember when this started so, the best thing I like about him is he's kind of, you know, a devil puppet, and I've actually wanted one before, the original one that SML uses, but I never got to it, 606. <clears throat> so, yeah, let's move on to the next puppet, and this is when this part ended for Chris. Alright, no, Craig. So, 606 to 704 is the next puppet. Alright, for the next puppet, uh, hold on. The next puppet. The next puppet we have the penguin one. That's honestly my favorite. I got this as a birthday gift. And you know, I can do like this. It's a pretty cool puppet. The best thing is that it's like an easy slide in. It moves its mouth up and down pretty neat. And it's got like a big tongue. <laughs> and that's it for this one. So, next one, please. Alright, for the next puppet we have it's. <clears throat> one of my first actual two-handed puppets. Now, first off, I'm actually getting another one in the mail Tuesday. I was about to say tomorrow, but I just realized it's not coming tomorrow because it just came from Texas, so it's going to be a country person. You won't see it in the next video. Well, who knows? But anyways, we got the famous uh, chicken of all, Chester Chicken. One of the, well, actually, my first two-handed puppets uh you know you can see it's like a glove here and then if i wanted to six, seven, six, seven, four. I, I keep saying that so i can remember that when i'm uploading this i can remember when to do it <clears throat> so say if i wanted to do the other hand like if i want to have this here or something like this right here i can do it like this and then i don't know why if i ever want to but <clears throat> So if I want to use both hands for something, <laughs> you know what I meant there. Uh, all right, so let me see. Here's what it looks like with both hands. Hold on. <clears throat> so what it looks like with both hands. Put your hands in the air like you just don't care. Pretty cool, six to six or four, and uh, <clears throat> next puppet, please. Oh my god! All right, for the next puppet I have is actually one you never really see in any of my videos. Almost like the ladybug one, you never see this guy in my videos. He's just a basic character that I hardly use, like once or twice. You only see him like um, in like Squid Games. I'm I'm still waiting to do that. I just have to figure out, like, what it's gonna be. Anyways, uh, next character. All right, for the next puppet we have, we have the good old Mickey Mouse. Uh, it's not the one you can put like your uh, fingers 
in, kind of like right here to control my hand. I mean, you kind of can. But, I mean, it's like one that, let me check. It's like when you can put your hands in here. Oh my god. Popping motion or. Something like that. Or I don't know. Uh, these are kind of cool. I'm on O O. This is getting sexual. Okay, uh, we only got a few minutes, so, uh, yeah. Uh, 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 next puppet, please. Cool. Alright, for our next puppet we have is the standard, uh, clown puppet. Yes, I'm doing it this way. Why? I don't care. But, yeah, this is pretty cool. Uh, let's see. First 25-inch puppet I've ever gotten. Pretty, you know, cool. I, I, I like it. You know, he gets drawn around a lot, but hey, it's it's still cool. And now I can like, kind of put him like this and just wee. And uh, next, okay, Mickey. <laughs> uh, next, next one, please. All right, for our next puppet, it was actually my very first puppet. Um, it's Big Bird. I had Big Bird for a very long time. And he's been with me ever since. Yeah. It's pretty cool. It's literally like the standard uh, other puppets like Raggedy Andy. It, anything you see that can do this. And it's even funny one day when I was bringing him along with me. And my dad and I were goofing off with him having his like, little babe thing in his mouth. And uh, let me see. <clears throat> Something like. Let me see. Something like. Something like this. <laughs> it was funny. He still has it to this day. Anyways, uh, next, next puppet, please. All right, for our next puppet we have is the blue dolphin puppet. Uh, it's pretty cool. The real way uh, it's meant to be used is <clears throat> by this. But I instantly hated that because one. So lip this is too big. It, it like this is not how a puppet should be made. So it's always a drop the jaw one. It's always that. And it's always been like that ever since. I got him on vacation and fun fact I'm actually going on spring break, break vacation in March and I'll be bringing one of or one or two of my puppets. So you will probably see, you'll probably see some TikToks or something like that. TikTok's gonna be in the description, like my uh, Instagram and Snapchat, yeah. So, next uh, puppet, please. All right, for the next puppet we have is the first dragon of three. And I got this on vacation once when I went to Barnes and Noble. I was actually surprised that there was a Barn and, Barnes and Noble place, which is where I got, I, I didn't get Mickey from there, I got him on Amazon. But yeah, this is the first dragon puppet, you can see the next one there, so we're gonna show that one off. So, do I even have to say it? You already know the word. Alright, for the next puppet, we have the second dragon puppet, which I got from a, a Christmas gift from my great grandpa. Uh, it was pretty cool. It's, uh, it's pretty funny how you can have, like, this or something. Kind of like in a clapping motion, or I kind of try and go for like a, uh, hold on, let me see. Something like him playing a keyboard or something. And the best thing about him is I can do this. No, this time can stick out. See if you see something cool. All right, uh, next. You already know the words. For the next one, we have the third final dragon, or if I get another one. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is the third dragon uh, that I own. I got him off Amazon. And the best thing about him is the long ass, uh, oh, okay. Long ass uh, thing, long tongue. And it was pretty cool. So, uh, yeah. It's like the third dragon. Hopefully, I don't get another one. Wink, wink. Ugh. Uh, next one. All right, from the next puppet we have, it's not really another puppet. It's basically like Woody. But we have Baby Rogu. Yes, he's 
used in many TikToks. Um, his arms can wave around or something. Uh, yeah. Been down in like 15 minutes. All right, uh, next puppet. Next puppet for this, you hardly ever see once or twice, actually one time. We have the octopus, as I like to call him. Uh, Sam the octopus. It's pretty cool how I've had this and I realized I've never used him because mainly his head just bobbles around. It's easy to duck him in and his like lips can easily just suck him like that. All right, uh, next puppet. And for our second to final puppet, we have Goofy. Now he's like 37 inches and I have to lean back just to show you all of him. But yeah, he's a cool puppet. I actually got him for, I think for my birthday or Christmas. I can't remember, but he was a good puppet. Uh, yeah, and for the final puppet, please. All right, for well, the final puppet you've all been waiting for. You know him anywhere else than YouTube, which is obviously what the f you're watching this on. You know him from SML, who's been terminated almost a bunch of times. It's Jeffrey. Hey guys, what you doing? Uh, uh, and stuff. This is actually one of my favorite ones. I actually, uh, let me think. He was one I wanted, I think, like, ever since he came out as an actual puppet on SML.com. Or SMLmerch.com. Uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. I actually finally got my hands on one. That sounds kind of weird. But, yeah. Uh, his original price was, I think, like, 200 something dollars Then they lowered it down to 70 something And I finally got my hands on one. Actually, I think he was a, he was a Christmas present. Yeah, he was, my, he was a Christmas present. And it's pretty cool that I now have a Jeffy puppet, so... Yeah, the thing is I have to be careful with the pencil. The pencil is the main thing you want to know. And if you want to know how you um, use him, his his like uh, diaper, okay, I'll, I'll show you real quick. Because when I first got him, I didn't know how to do it. So, his he came in like this, and people were like, where do you, where do, you do it? Well, you see his diaper covers this, so you just pull this out, and then you tuck in the diaper. And then, see, now you have your hand. And Jeffy, that sounds completely wrong. Thank you for watching. And I will update you guys on when uh, the new puppet comes. So thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye.